Hello and welcome to your graduation celebration event. Unfortunately, we can't be together at the Whittle Hall, but on behalf of all the staff here at the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, I offer you our warmest congratulations on this special day. Since March last year, we've all had to get used to so much of our lives happening online. And we, like you, are still missing the personal experience of graduation at the Whitla Hall. The selfies, those spontaneous cheers that go up when you walk on the stage, that palpable sense of anticipation and excitement as the ceremony gets underway. We miss the applause and celebration and the mingling over strawberries and cream afterwards, whether that be in glorious sunshine or pouring rain. But let's not focus on what we are missing. Today is still a celebration, and perhaps some of you have your strawberries and cream ready to enjoy in the garden with your families after the event. But whatever way you choose to mark it, remember how far you have come. Since COVID-19 came onto the scene, it has changed many things and, I'm sure you'll agree, stripped much of our normality away. For us today, it has taken away the opportunity to celebrate together, but it has not changed a single thing about what is at the very core of this, your graduation day, formally marking your achievement and success and articulating our shared pride in all that you have done to get to this milestone and special moment in your lives. You have been a superb year group and shown much resilience through the challenges of the last 16 months. I want to thank you for showing great character and community. Many of you will have heard of author and businesswoman, Arianna Huffington. She wrote a book called Thrive a few years ago and has this to say about thriving in a post-pandemic world. Resilience is often spoken about in terms of navigating or simply getting through challenges. But the key part of resilience isn't about bouncing back. It's about bouncing forward. It's about using adversity as a catalyst to get better and become stronger. I think that as we start to emerge from lockdown and life returns to a more normal way of being, as much as we feel excited about new possibilities, we can feel fearful about the future too. But we cannot allow this to hold us back from trying to make a positive mark on the world. Let's not simply go back to the pre-pandemic status quo, but one that's a better normal. It is resilience that offers us a chance, a true transformation. The post-COVID world can be better, but only if we decide to make it so. As graduates, you have a wonderful opportunity to use your skills, knowledge, optimism, innovation, fresh thinking, and resilience to do this. The world needs what you have to offer, now more than ever. The last two academic years have not turned out as many of us have imagined. However, my colleagues and I have seen how you have responded to these times, and it has been heartening to witness. Instead of simply enduring it, many of you have continued to thrive, finishing well, excelling in your exams, reaching out, keeping up contact, and I know many of you have gone above and beyond to help others. Well done. Hello everyone, um, I've been asked to record a video on this, the day of your graduation. Um, I'm Dave, you might remember me from lectures where I did things like threw a bottle of Diet Coke over my brand new, very expensive laptop, and then ran around trying to mop it up. All lectures where I really made no sense and meandered on for hours about something tangentially to do with computers. It's been so long since I actually recorded anything like this that I came up, fired up the computer, looked at the webcam, and I've now spent the last hour and a half fighting the Logitech drivers, OBS and Mac to get to the point where I could record this, um, this message for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I've decided computers are, are definitely somewhat overrated. Um, having got ready to do it, I then actually bothered reading the instructions, uh, which said, you know, don't do a lot of sudden movements um, and no music, singing or dancing. So I had prepared naturally a sort of 12 minute interpretive dance rap for you, um, but the pencil pushers say that I can't do that. So unfortunately, you know, for reasons outside of my control, we can't, we can't see that now. All that remains then is to say, you know, well done, brilliantly well done. Um, you know, these are always happy times. You know, graduation is, is a good time, people moving on and celebrating your achievements. 
and this year has been a year like no other. I mean, we, you know, it, it's, it's been difficult, it's been tough, you've been remote, um, and I have been overwhelmed really and, and incredibly impressed by the, the sort of standard of work and the, the diligence that you've all put in to get to the point you are now. Um, you know, people I think may assume that, you know, it, it, oh, it's easy, you know, learn right. No 9 a.m.s, you can still be in bed for them or whatever. Um, I think the truth is, is very different um, from that. I think it's been an incredibly tough year. Um, and actually, I think you've all done incredibly well to get to where you are now. And I certainly know myself and the rest of the school, the rest of the staff, um, are very proud of you um, for having achieved and overcome all these uh, difficulties. So all that's left to say really is, you know, well done, congratulations, enjoy the, the virtual nature of these, of these celebrations. We are gradually eking back towards normality and I know we plan to have you in the building, back in the school, maybe a drink or two, um, perhaps a, you know, a, a scone if we're lucky, um, when we're allowed to do such things. I'm sure you've all got glittering careers ahead and I wish you all the very best um, and I will continue to meander around making no sense and throwing bottles of drink over laptops just to keep you entertained. But now I have a reason because I, I hate them, I hate the drivers. So good luck everyone, take care, goodbye. Congratulations everybody who's graduating today. It's a huge achievement and you should be really proud of yourselves. It has been a very difficult year this year as everybody knows um, and the staff in the school, myself included, have been really, really impressed and, and proud of how you have adapted and you have really stuck with it this year uh, in what was really difficult circumstances, studying online and working online, etc. So really well done, um, we're really proud of you. I hope you have a great day today. It's a shame we can't get together as normal on a graduation day, but hopefully things are starting to lick up with the, the vaccinations and things, and we maybe have something in the future um, where we can get together. All the very best for the future, uh, and please keep in touch. Graduands, warmest congratulations on your graduation. You did it, despite all the challenges. It's time to celebrate all the hard work that led to this joyful occasion. You are moving on to a new and exciting chapter in your life. I wish you much success as you pursue your goals and dream job. All the very best for the future. I hope you keep in touch and one day see you back at Queen's. Congratulations everyone. What a year it has been. We've all faced many challenges and many of you have faced some extraordinary ones. Let the success be all the sweeter for the challenges that you have overcome. I would like to make a very special mention to the software engineers who helped make my year a great one. It has been brilliant getting to know you and work with you on your projects. Very best of luck everyone and well done. Hi everyone, on behalf of the professional services team here in the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering, and computer science, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your academic success and to hope that you have a great day during your virtual graduation. Not only have you succeeded in your academic studies, you've done so in the midst of a global pandemic and that is something you should be extremely proud of. Finally, I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you every success in your future as you embark on this next chapter of your lives. Good luck. Bye. Congratulations to all of the Triple ECS graduates um, this year and um, well done on all of your successes and hard work and best of luck for the future. Hi, just wishing to congratulate you all on completing your degree programmes. Well done everybody and hopefully now you can all enjoy a well-deserved summer break. Good luck and best wishes for all of your future endeavours. Hello to all our graduates. I wish you congratulations on your success and completing your degrees. And I wish you every good luck in whatever you go on to do in the future. Students, many congratulations to you. We strive to give students exposure to both state-of-the-art technical knowledge and practical experience in entrepreneurships, as we feel this, these are important criteria for the modern computer scientist and engineer. We hope that you've had a good experience of this in Queen's and that this places you in good stead for your future career. We regret not being able to congratulate you individually on the day at a fiscal graduation, but hope that you can enjoy the day with your family and friends. Congratulations and well done to everyone today. In particular, a big shout out to the postgraduate taught students who are finishing with us today. 
As a course team, we're really proud of you. And I'm sure that's shared by your friends and your family. But I also think you should be entitled to be very proud of yourselves and the achievement. Good luck in the future. Keep in touch and well done again. Hello. It's your graduation day. Congratulations. I wish you all the best in the future. Hopefully you can choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Just to say a big well done and congratulations to you all. I wish you all the best with your future endeavours and happy celebrations. Take care. Bye. Congratulations, folks. Well done on your graduation. Uh, all a bit unusual this year. We're all watching this from home. Uh, thanks to a global panda problem. But, uh, well, congratulations to you anyway. Uh, whether you're graduating with a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD, uh, which, as we all know, stands for a pretty huge dolphin. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on graduating today. It very much is a reflection of all of the hard work and effort that you've put in throughout your time at Queen's. And whilst you do graduate in challenging times, the one thing I'm certain of is that we will get through this and we will emerge into a world where the skills that you possess, either related to computing or to engineering, those skills will be incredibly important in terms of addressing a whole range of challenges and opportunities. And when we think about the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, your future, it is a very bright future. And I wish you the best of success in that future. I do hope that you keep in contact with us. We would love for you to do that. And I hope to see quite a few of you back here providing guest lectures and other types of event and activity by way of inspiring the next generation of students. But today's your day. And as I said at the start, I wish you my heartfelt congratulations on it. It is well deserved. I know this year has been challenging to say the least, but just take a moment to celebrate and acknowledge all the hard work that you've done. Uh, I really can't wait to see where you're all going to go. Well done. Hello. As the Director of Internationalization for ACS, I would like to congratulate you on this great day. I'm sure this is one of the best days of your life. And I really hope and wish that you go from places to places and strength to strength going forward as a Queen's graduate. All the best. Okay, hi everyone and congratulations. I'm absolutely delighted for you on this really happy occasion for you. So for all of you who are going into the world of work, I wish you the very best and I really hope you end up in a job that you really enjoy for those going on to further study as well. And um, all the very best for your future. As we come to the end of this unprecedented academic year, our summer graduation is not what any of us expected when you commenced your academic journey through Queen's. My warmest congratulations on your well-deserved achievement following the completion of your academic studies here in Triple ECS. We are very proud of how you have persevered through the challenges of the current pandemic. Now is the time to celebrate your success. Whatever your future plans, never stop dreaming, exploring, learning and challenging yourself to be the best that you can be on your journey through this life. I wish you every success and happiness in your future career, wherever that may take you throughout the world. Hopefully in the near future, we will have the opportunity to meet here again back in Queens. Today, however, is about your success as a member of the class of 2021. So I wish you a day of celebration and hopefully you're able to share it with your family and friends, whether in person or remotely. Many congratulations. Stay safe. Hi, I'm Michael Downey, a business information technology graduate. The past four years has been an amazing experience. Joining university as a mature student after four years of full-time work was a huge decision and one which I do not regret. My most memorable experiences during my degree have been interning in India with emphasis and completing placement in New York City. 
These were incredible opportunities and I'd like to thank the Triple ECS careers and the placement team for their career support and development. I would like to also give a massive thank you to my parents and my fiance for their support throughout this journey. The past year has certainly been different, but with the support of my classmates and QB staff, we all made it through. I'd like to wish everyone the best for the future. Triple ECS has left a deep mark in my life and the QB is like my second hometown. Although these five years have ended in this way, it's a bit regretful. But I will never forget that after school every Wednesday and Friday, I carried my bag and go to PEC with my friend to play football and cheer for the new week. I want to say goodbye to everyone and wish you all the best. I want to thank my grandfather. Although he has left me, he has brought me not only care in life, but also guidance in life. So I will dedicate my graduation certificate to him. I also want to thank my family. I have a strict father and enlightened mother and the grandparents who love me. Thank you, love and peace. I uh, just want to say congratulations to all of you congratulating and uh, best luck with whatever you do next. Um, I just want to give a few shout out to this. Three minutes of me just reading off names. Uh, enjoy. Uh, First off, in terms of staff, I want to give a massive thank you to Matthew Collins. Uh, he's been an absolute legend. Every single year I've been at uni, uh, massive help all the way through. Brilliant. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Barry Devereaux uh, as my project supervisor. He was absolutely great. Uh, I've really appreciated your help over the last year. Um, and behind the scenes at Triple ECS, I would like to give a massive shout out to TJ, John, Neil, and Brian at the front desk. Absolute legends. Uh, in terms of what comes next for me, I'm um, applying for a PhD for Queens. So, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, but just want to say again, congratulations uh, and good luck to everybody graduating this year. Um, you know, anybody I've met has been absolutely delightful. So I just want to say, uh, you know, best of luck to all of you. Hello everyone. First of all, congratulations for, for to all of us for this amazing moment we are living right now. I'm certain it was very difficult to all of us, but well, we could overcome it and here we are. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the support of all the amazing people who was with me during this entire time. First of all, thank you Aza, my wife, who is there behind the camera, smiling, mm. making this moment more joyful. <laughs> And not only this moment, but my entire journey during my PhD here at Queen's. Thank you, my family as well, my father, my mom, my siblings, Juliana and Mateus. Thank you to the, all the amazing people who surrounded me during my entire PhD. Starting from my supervisors, Robert, Gareth and Vince. Thank you so much for all the support, all the knowledge shared all the feedback it certainly helped me to grow up as a researcher as an engineer thank you i don't have enough thank yous to say thank you to to, to the, all three of you thank you as well to anil thank you to stelianos dimitri okan simon all the people in cwi who certainly made all this journey very very smooth not forgetting adrian and kieran who were key to make all those experiments possible. Also, thank you to my friends who were outside of Queens, so my family, or my friends back in Brazil. Thank you to all of you too, for all the support. You were always giving me those words to encourage me to continue doing my research here, far away from home, missing all of you. So yes, congratulations to all of us. Let's party and good luck to all of us. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Johnson, the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Engineering and Physical Sciences here at Queen's. And the first thing I want to do is to congratulate you um, on your graduation. Um, when I was preparing this talk, I, I looked up uh, some quotes from B.B. King, a blues musician, who said, the greatest thing about education is that nobody can take it away from you. And I think that that's in just su su you know, such an important thing at a time when so many other things have been taken away from you. Um, over the last 12 months, you've been masked up and you've been locked down. But hopefully we're coming to the end of those periods of restriction and, and uh, with the vaccine rollouts and quarantine being lifted in different parts of the world, 
it's a great opportunity for you to go out and realize the rest of your ambitions going forward. I think Arthur Ashe, um, he said, uh, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. And I think that the important part about that is that you can either look at the things that have, that have not happened in terms of the, the social interaction and in terms of parts of university life, or you could recognize that what you've been through makes you part of the most resilient generation in living memory. Um, you've had to survive things that no other generation has had to survive, at least since the 1900s when the, the Spanish flu epidemic occurred. I do feel at least in part responsible for some of this in the sense that uh, early in my career, a little bit older than probably most of you are now, um, I was involved in pandemic planning for European aviation. And the focus was entirely on trying to keep aviation running. And I guess what we, what we didn't anticipate was the, the lockdown restrictions and so on that, that made most of those plans um, impossible to implement. Um, and I think what that reminds me of is a phrase by, by Mark Twain, who said that, uh, I never let my schooling get in the way of my education, or I never let my university career get in the way of my education. In other words, um, what I've learned under pandemic is, is a personal resilience and the difficulty of making plans against all of the things that are thrown at you under unexpected circumstances. And I'm pretty sure that you will have experiences in that way that, that previous generations never had. However, I do think that the fundamental things that you'll have learned here in terms of the science and engineering and tools and techniques that you've learned throughout your time here at Queen's will be useful for the rest of your life. That may not be a particular programming language. It may not be a particular compound or process because these things will change over time. But the ability to work to deadlines, to cope with enormous amounts of data, or in other situations, to be able to draw lessons when there's hardly any data at all and understand what the limitations of that data is, those are things that you'll be using the rest of your life. So I want to wish you every success into the future. May you enjoy the rest of your virtual graduation day and thank you for spending part of your time here with us at Queen's. On behalf of Microsoft, I'd like to offer my congratulations to all of the graduates graduating today from Queen's University Belfast. Remarkable achievement. I've really enjoyed working with you and your lectures over the last few years, hackathons, guest lectures, visit to Microsoft. I've gotten to know some of you. You're an excellent bunch of students. I hope to hire some of you and uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. Best of luck with your careers. I hope you do amazing things. And the only advice I will give you is be kind, look after each other and you'll go far. Hi everyone, I'm Carla McGlynn. I am one of the senior leadership team in City Belfast and I'm also a director in technology. I'm here today to congratulate you. This is a very special time. So everybody in the EEECS group from PhD right through to undergrad, big congratulations for myself and from City in Belfast. A shout out to the MSc in software development because this is a course that's close to my heart and has opened many doors for me throughout the years. I will give you three tips as you come away from today. One is network, build up a really good network across the software development community. Two, be open to new ideas. And three, always be willing to learn. Well done and hopefully see some of you soon. I uh, just wanted to say a massive congratulations on getting through this final year. It must be the most unprecedented year of university that students have had to endure uh, in the guts of a century. And you have all done really amazingly well to have got through it. Uh, if I would offer you some advice for the future, I would just like to say, uh, don't worry about imposter syndrome. Everybody gets those feelings once in a while and really just try your best to ignore them. You, you know way more than you think you do. Uh, when things go back to normal and the world opens up a bit more, try to get out to as many great meetups as possible. There are tons of them about in Belfast. Uh, and really, in the next few weeks and months before you start your first job, just try your best to enjoy yourselves. You really earned it.
Hello, my name is John Healy and I'm the Managing Director of Allstate Northern Ireland, one of the largest technology employers in Northern Ireland. And I am delighted to have been invited to uh, say a few words today. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is congratulations to each and every one of you. Uh, this graduation is a real milestone in your careers and it is a bit different uh, in terms of it being a virtual event but please enjoy it nonetheless. And what an exciting time uh, for all of you to be graduating. Technology has been at the center of our economy for a long time now, but looking at uh, world events like the pandemic and COVID, uh, that has really accelerated the digitization of all uh, of how we consume our services. And we have never needed more talented graduates like you to come and be part of our businesses. Uh, I wish you all every continued success in your career journeys. Well done. Completing a course of study at higher education is a significant achievement at any time, and especially so in the current challenging environment. So I'd like to commend and congratulate everyone graduating today, along with their lecturers, family and friends, all of whom have made a contribution to the achievement. But it's your day, and despite the unusual nature of this particular graduation, it's a very special day and you should all be very proud. If I may offer some advice from someone who graduated 30 years ago. This may be the end of your formal full-time education, but let it be the start of a lifetime of learning. I know that's a cliche, but it's even more true today than it was when I graduated. The world is constantly changing and technology especially is changing daily. You need to keep your skills up to date and acquire new skills to be successful in your professional life. Employers are, in a sense, less interested in what you've learned so much as that you've proved that you can learn and that you're flexible, adaptable and able to apply that knowledge to any challenge. Secondly, you're probably a bit uncertain about your future. Setting aside COVID, you're probably wondering if you made the right course choice, the right career choice. You may question your ability to do the job that you're starting. Well, you're not alone. Everybody is. There's no perfect career plan. There's no mistake that can't be fixed at your stage. Everybody is making it up as they go along. I think that the only real mistake you can make is saying no to opportunities too quickly. You don't know where that opportunity might take you. When I graduated, I was exceptionally shy and really just wanted to write code all day. I certainly didn't want to have to deal with people if I could avoid it. So, sure enough, the first job I was given was to manage a support desk for a product that just happened to have customers all over the world. But it meant solving people's problems and being empathetic about it. I could have just said no, but I didn't. Now, in those days, newbies tended not to say no, but that's a different story. 30 years later, I'm group CTO of a global company. I've invested in tech startups and, on, and I'm on a number of boards. I advise government and digital technology and run a tech conference every year. And I still enjoy my job every day. I don't really want to think about what would have happened if I'd said no. I probably wouldn't be talking to you today. So keep learning and be open to opportunities. Congratulations again. Uh, I'm extremely pleased that we are able to sponsor uh, the first year prize for the computer science and engineering students at Queen's University Belfast. And congratulations to the winners um, at their at your uh, 2021 virtual graduation and congratulations to all of the students graduating from uh, the EEECS at Queen's University Belfast. I wish you all the best your futures. We've had some great graduates from Queen's University through our own organisation uh, over a number of years and I know the quality of uh, the graduates that have, turned, that have turned out from the university, especially in the computer sciences and, and engineering students. So I wish you all the best. Uh, hopefully you're entering the marketplace at an exciting time and uh, we look forward uh, to continuing our uh, sponsorship and relationship with Queen's University Belfast over the next number of years. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Mark McCormick here, Head of Technology at Athlete Northern Ireland. I just wanted to send you a brief message 
to congratulate you on all of your hard work and to celebrate in your graduation today. It's certainly been a year like no other and you should be really proud of your achievements against the backdrop of everything that's happened over the last number of months. One of the reasons that we're here is because of the phenomenal talent here in Northern Ireland coming from our universities and that means you. So you should take a moment today and enjoy and reflect on the achievements over the last number of years. Celebrate your graduation with your friends and family. And from me and from everyone else at Affleck Northern Ireland, it's a huge congratulations. Well done. GE Eve, it's my absolute honour and privilege on behalf of the Students' Union to congratulate you on graduating today. You, our students, have overcome significant challenges over the past year to complete your studies. Studying during a global pandemic is no easy feat for anyone, yet you have all gone above and beyond to help our society during this difficult time. Many of you, alongside being a student, are key workers in retail and hospitality, frontline workers in our health and social care services, volunteers in the community, parents and carers, and provided essential services during this crisis. It is with incredible strength and resilience that you have overcome all the challenges of the past year to be where you are, as of today, a graduate of Queen's University. And this is something you can be so proud of. We know this isn't the celebration that you had been dreaming of when you began your studies, but however you're celebrating today, know that this is an amazing achievement. So enjoy yourselves and we'll see you as soon as we can to celebrate together and in person. You are graduates that this university can be incredibly proud of and we wish you all the best in your future careers. Co-gorgeous and congratulations. Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all on reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you've all worked extremely hard to reach this point. You should all be proud, extremely proud of your achievements. You now join the talented and high achieving Academy of Queen's alumni, who for over 175 years have shaped the world in which we live, so creating a better world for those that follow. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I'm immensely proud of, not least because of how our students and staff and alumni have responded to the challenges of the past year. It's also a community that will play a key role as our society and our economy recover from the pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you much continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the future. Congratulations again on this virtual graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your family and friends. Hello everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, I am delighted to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our 2021 graduates. You know, it's an understatement to say that the end of your time at Queen's did not unfold the way you had expected. I don't know what it's like to graduate during a pandemic, but you and your classmates do. And I believe that the resilience you've developed and the bonds you share with other members of the class of 2021, literally all around the globe, can well be two of your greatest assets moving forward. As you start this new chapter of your lives, I hope you will continue to support one another, just as you've done here at Queens. And I hope you will build on the extraordinary skills you've developed during this unprecedented time, flexibility, determination, compassion. Because by now you know life doesn't always go as planned. There will be more stumbles and setbacks. Some will be painful. Believe me, I know. But remember, life isn't about what happens to you. It is about what you do with what happens. So please know that even the most devastating losses may open doors you never could have imagined. Just look at all you've accomplished here at Queens in some of the toughest circumstances imaginable. You're graduating during a tumultuous time, but it's a time that desperately needs people like yourselves 
who seek out truth, facts, and evidence, who embrace complexity instead of shying away from it, who use creativity and their minds to take on the challenges we face. The world needs you, Queens graduates, so please go forth to solve problems. Be proud of the education that has equipped you to do that, because we are certainly proud of you. And I know your parents, friends, families watching today are too. Congratulations again, and I wish you every success in the future. And so let's focus on what is happening. This is virtual, yes, but it is no less real. All of us here in the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science warmly and most sincerely applaud you. You have my warmest congratulations and I wish you and those you are celebrating with a special and memorable graduation day. I hope you have enjoyed this event and I now like to leave you with a photo montage of your time at Queen's. Enjoy the rest of your special day.